Hello, I'm Dr. Mike. Giardia is a protozoan parasite that can infect pets as well as people. Hence, it is important to understand how pets become exposed so that we may prevent or at least decrease the chance of infection. To learn more about Giardia, we are going to meet with Dr. David Lewis. Giardia is a protozoal infection that causes gastroenteritis. It is an extremely common infection. In fact, worldwide, Giardia is the most common intestinal uh, protozoal organism in people, wildlife, and in dogs and cats. Pets are infected with Giardia when they swallow or ingest Giardia cysts. There's, there's two ways that pets can come in contact with Giardia cysts. Firstly, they can contact another pet that is infected with Giardia and become infected during social greeting. The other way pets will become infected with Giardia cysts is from the environment. Sources of environmental contamination with Giardia cysts include ponds, streams, and even puddles. But sometimes even the grass and soil where other pets have gone to the bathroom can be infected with Giardia cysts. Uh, Giardia cysts are very hardy. They can survive for many weeks in the environment as long as the environment is damp and it's not allowed to become too hot. Pets can, up to 30% of the time, be infected with a Giardia strain that has the potential to cause infection in people. And so it's always wise to practice good hygiene. Most pets that are infected with Giardia have absolutely no clinical signs. Uh, the clinical signs when they occur are typically gastrointestinal signs, diarrhea most commonly, uh, less often vomiting. Animals that are most likely to show clinical signs of uh, Giardia infection include puppies and kittens, pets with other intestinal parasite infections, and pets that have other illnesses that may have compromised their immune systems. There are several tests that are available to veterinarians to determine whether or not a pet is infected with Giardia. The first one would be a direct examination of the pet stool under the microscope by your veterinarian. The second test that veterinarians would often do would be a, what's called a fecal flotation test. The third test that is commonly used is a test that actually looks for the protein or antigen from the Giardia cyst. Once a pet has been treated, then typically their stool sample will be re-evaluated to make sure that the treatment has effectively eliminated the Giardia infection. If your veterinarian does elect to treat your pet for Giardia infection, there are several different medications that can be prescribed. If one medication does not work to clear the infection, your veterinarian may prescribe a different medication. And sometimes a dietary change and also probiotics, which are concentrates of normal intestinal bacteria, such as lactobacillus found in yogurt, may also be prescribed by your veterinarian. During the course of treatment for Giardia, it's extremely important to bathe your pet to make sure that any cysts that are stuck to your pet's hair or fur are removed, and this can be one way to prevent the pet from becoming reinfected. It's typically a very mild infection, so the prognosis for your pet's health with Giardia infection is excellent. Preventing Giardia infection can be difficult because it is so common. There are probably some things that you can do that will help reduce the chance that your pet will get a Giardia infection. Certainly you want to avoid allowing your pet to drink from ponds, streams and puddles. You want to make sure that your yard is very well drained because again, Giardia cysts will survive best in an environment that is damp. You want to pick up your pet's feces and dispose of it promptly, including removing pet's feces from your yard. Make sure that your pet is tested and treated regularly for other intestinal parasites and be sure to contact your veterinarian if your pet shows any other clinical signs of illness because they are the situations that can make your pet more prone to having diarrhea from a Giardia infection. Some pets infected with Giardia may never show clinical signs. That is one reason I recommend you bring a fecal sample to your veterinarian at each routine visit, at least once or twice a year. It is important to ask your veterinarian what they recommend specifically for your pet. I'm Dr. Mike. Thanks for watching our VetVid episode on Giardia and Pets.